Are you struggling with ways to effectively implement cooperative learning in your classroom? Look no further. This video will demonstrate how to implement three simple cooperative learning methods. The Jigsaw Method, Stations, and ABC Brainstorm. The Jigsaw Method, a research-based cooperative learning strategy developed in the early 70s and is used with great success in classrooms everywhere. This method is highly structured and allows for a teacher to be a facilitator while the students take an active role and are responsible for his or her learning. Here's how it works. You divide students into four to six person diverse jigsaw groups. You may use any method to divide the students into these groups. Designate one person in the group as the lead. Have your lesson or topics divided into four to six segments depending on group size. For example, if you want to cover effective teaching, you may divide the topics into classroom management, establishing rules and procedures, curriculum, effective questioning, and first days of school. Each student in the jigsaw group will be assigned to one of these topics. Provide the necessary materials relevant to the specific topics to each member. Provide a few minutes for each individual to read over their material. Separate into expert groups and allow students working on the same topics to meet, discuss, and prepare to present the information to their jigsaw groups. Provide ample time to do this, 10 to 20 minutes. Bring students back to their jigsaw groups and have each member present their material to their groups. Have students share material before comments and questions are answered. As a facilitator, move around from group to group and assess, discuss, and monitor as needed. At the end of the time allowed it, provide some sort of assessment, either a quiz or a group summary. Stations. Stations provide students with different areas where they can work on tasks simultaneously in cooperative groups. Stations allow for implementation of a variety of instructional strategies at one time. This differentiated instructional method engages all types of learners. You can set up stations to offer a variety of delivery methods and to stimulate learning at various levels of looms. For example, if I'm covering a mathematical concept, I might have the following stations. A computer, for students to practice math problems via game. A flashcard station, where students can learn about strategies to use. A worksheet or whiteboard station, where students must work out a problem. A station with manipulatives, which will be used to solve the problems involved. The instructor would be circulating around as students work in these cooperative groups. ABC Brainstorm. ABC Brainstorm is an easy and effective way to quickly assess what students know about a topic. Each group writes the first letter of each alphabet on separate lines of a sheet of notebook paper. Provide the students with the topic of focus and have students brainstorm ideas and thoughts on that particular topic using different letters of the alphabet. Give students about three minutes to brainstorm and then have groups share with the class. These are just three out of numerous innovative instructional strategies involving cooperative learning. They involve just the right amount of interaction for students to learn from each other while a teacher facilitates and guides their learning process. For more information on cooperative learning strategies, see the list of resources below.